Hello everyone, Shoestring back here. I'm going to make a short video on part of my 600 watt solar system because I am about to update it. At the moment, we're going to talk about my TriStar solar controller. It's a TS45 and it have had it for about eight years, seven, eight years, and it has worked really, really well. But there are some things that are going to have to change when I upgrade my system. This right here is, has comes through the wall into the shed. The wires here go from this course solar panels into the charge controller. Charge controller comes down right here. This, these two wires, of course, go into the battery. Let me show you that. Here's the battery they are connected to right now. The anchor of my solar system. And that is some of the problem right there. This right, These connectors are, of course, made for cars or marine batteries, which, of course, this is. And that means they need starting capacity. My new solar system really doesn't. So, I'm going to have to change these cables out if I'm going to put in a AGM or a gel system. Both of which I'm considering the pros and cons at the moment for my own system. I just wanted you to see what some of the problem was here. Now we're going to talk about the uh, charge controller itself. I'm going to open this up, show you what's inside, so you have some idea of the challenges I have when I'm going to change my system over. Okay, real simple to do. It just takes four screws, which I just did. I can't take the screws out and, of course, hold the camera. So, four screws came out of each one. Simple Phillips screwdriver. So simple that someone tool challenged, such as I, can still do it. All right, so let's open her up. And of course, since it's on camera, it had to drop, right? That's how it works. All right, so here is the inside. Hopefully everyone can see that clearly of the charge controller. Right there. All right, so we have several wires. We can see the ones coming in from coming in from the solar panels. Come right up in the here and they go right back there. I can see them into this right here. Some type of holder. Not sure. I'll have to find out exactly what these little things do. I am not an electrician, but I do know some electricians. I know some electricians that are teachers that are really, really good. They probably know what everything inside this box is, because I don't. Oh, so it comes in through the side. I'm not sure I showed you that. There's a little access panel right here. Wires come through and go out, right? They come in right up through here, go into these. Like I said, I'm not sure if they're just holders or fuses. I'll ask and find out. Obviously, we have a positive and a negative, right? Something that connects to a computer, all right? So my choices are to figure out how to rewire this or ask someone that actually knows what they're doing to rewire it for me, assuming they know what they're doing. Or the other, the other option is to come right down here to the battery portion Hopefully you can see that. Take these cables off, cut these off about here or so, and then reclamp them with the type of clamp I actually need that will go on. Because if you're talking about a gel or AGM battery, you really need a connector that looks like this. Much more than one that looks 
like that. This is for cars, of course. It also works well for marine batteries. The ones I have right now, by the way, are marine batteries. They have worked very, very well. I never shoot them down. If you're starting a solar system, I suggest you start with batteries such as this because they work well. They do need maintenance. I was just spending yesterday checking all the cells and filling them up with water. As you can see, shoestrings down here dropping water all over the place, right? Which isn't supposed to be like that. Anyway, he tries to keep them clean and he tries to keep them well watered with distilled water. And they've worked really, really great. But it is time, like I said, for an upgrade because I'm going to need some more power. And we might as well go to maintenance free now that I have a basic idea how to do it. So here's the problem. And when I come up with a solution, I will put it also up. But I wanted to show you what the inside of the box looked like. I'm sure there's people out there that are electricians or understand it, and they say, oh, simple, we know exactly what these are. Oh, great. Uh, wish I did. I suppose I shouldn't be sticking my finger in here, right? Something's going to shock me up against the wall. Like, that's the first time that happened. Okay, so, I'm going to have to research, and I'll let you know what I decide. If I'm going to rewire the box, or just figure out how to reclamp these. Which, of course, seems like the easiest way to do it. Okay, so there we are. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please put them down in the comments. And I'll let you know as we move forward in updating the system. Inexpensively, like a shoestring. Shoestring, out. <laughs>